Samsung Galaxy S8 leaks on video shows that we're actually expecting a different screen resolution. OnePlus surprises everyone with yet another gorgeous OnePlus 3T, and some Amazon Alexa love has just reached Huawei hardware. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, I usually celebrate two days of the week. One, obviously Fridays. Two is when I can get a haircut. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. For those of you that thought that uh, Microsoft Windows 10 Mobile was dead, it's not, but companies are trying really hard to kill it. If you're in the market for an extremely cheap phone, Cricut Wireless has the Lumia 650 for a dollar. I did not forget any zeros or any numbers. They are offering the phone for a dollar. Even if you don't need a phone, <laughs> just go get it. <laughs> this is about that time where you actually want to gift the phone to somebody you know even if that would be a terrible gift, sadly. And speaking of deals, up next is Verizon, as the company has just picked up the new product Red iPhones in addition to the new iPads. And uh, where the deals fall is actually not on these products, but in the fact that you can actually swap them for whatever current products you have. The company is offering some really good deals, and obviously it's not a one-by-one -one swap. You'll have to pay something, but uh, they are offering some compelling choices. You can learn more in the description. And say hello to the new OnePlus 3T in Midnight Black. Thank you, OnePlus, for listening. Thank you for not just making this a French exclusive. I am a big fan of black phones, and this one is gorgeous. The cool part is that this is an exclusive 128 gigabyte variant, and you're paying $479 for it. So yeah, the reason why it's more expensive than the rest of the OnePlus 3T variants is because you only get the higher tier variant in storage. But still, I find it extremely worth it for a product that has better specifications than some of the current flagships that have already launched this year. And one of the very interesting teasers from Huawei back at CES was the fact that its Mate 9 was going to run Amazon Alexa. We were really excited about it. It is already available for the Mate 9 in the United States. It is an OTA update. Uh, my unit still hasn't received it. You can bet that I fired it up immediately to see if I had the update, but it's not there yet. And apparently you will have to launch the application and actually enable it to be able to listen to you, etc. We will report back as soon as we learn more. Please, OTA. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S8. Yes, it's back as the hottest news. We've got three things to report on. Number one, leaked images that show us different color options, all three. Great. Uh, most interesting is actually the fact that we noticed some accessories and we're not even going to dive into the expensive battery pack. I don't even care about that. What I do care about is this interesting dock that apparently will allow you to use your Galaxy S8. Could it be like Microsoft Continuum, meaning like you can use it as your computer, use your monitor, your keyboard? It makes all the sense in the world and apparently this dock has all the capability to provide that. Even better, apparently we're getting different screen resolutions. It's not what we are used to seeing. Apparently we're getting 2960 by 1440, which is WQHD+. This is even more than the LG G6 that's 2880 by 1440. I get lost in these numbers, but even more interesting is the fact that you can actually scale it down to improve your performance. This is something that I noticed on the Nougat update of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So this is all great, but it leads me to the question of the day. We're just a few days away from the Samsung Galaxy S8. Has all this served to get you crazy over it, or are you skeptical? In my case, after using the G6, it is going to be really hard for me to move away from that phone. This S8 has to be amazing. I can't wait to hear about it. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.